The leadership of the gentlemen that are there doing what they're doing is, uh, is, is amazing and impressive. And I really believe that every single guy out there wants to be great. And as long as that, that is, still, is still there day to day, we're going to be just fine. Coach, working with the line, I'm sure you get a, get a look at what your line's doing, but they're blocking for some really talented guys. Can you speak about how Jamal Williams compares to other people you see? I mean, it's you go into the O-line room, and uh, up on the screen savers is our skilled guys uh, and them doing great things, which is, seems to be normal for them. But all of that starts with us up front. And, again, I, I personally feel you know that, that we have to be very unselfish as a position group. And so when I know that, man, I, I'm really tired and I'm sucking it, and I'm just really tired, and, and I know I got to reach this guy, or I know I got to get that guy, and I know that Jamal's going to get the ball. I go a little bit harder. You know, I know that, okay, if Taysom needs extra time, I'm going to have to go a little bit harder, and I think the guys feel that same way. Coach, can you talk about Menaki Vaitai and Terrence Aletto and their position battle at center? Yeah, I mean, it, it seriously is. <laughs> The way I envision it is just straight old school Rocky, whatever, just standing toe to toe and the, the last guy standing. Um, both of them have excellent traits and both of them have weaknesses that they're trying to get stronger. And, you know, um, I, I, I love it. I, Manaki, I love how hard he's going. And that, that was one of the things that was holding him back in the spring. So I'm very excited. And, you know, I'm excited too because Terrence is doing some good things. So. You know, it's whatever that commercial is. When banks compete, you win. So when my centers <laughs> compete, I win. Can you talk about the integration of your Juco guys? You have four Juco guys coming into this fall camp. Can you talk about, talk about their integration into the offense? Yeah, you know, again, it's so hard to go and, and have your junior college coach, because I was one, simulate what it is you're going to be doing at BYU. I, I don't care, you know, who your tr personal trainer is or who he isn't or she, for that matter. And... I mean, it's until you get here. All I'm asking those guys to do is go as hard as they can from every snap um, and, and, and let the chips fall where they may. And it, there's a learning curve. There's absolutely a learning curve because they went from the biggest fish in the biggest pond to, you know, they're trying to get in the water right now. Can you talk about the conditioning level overall? Good. Yeah, it's good. You know, I, again, not great, not bad, but good.